Hello everyone! Today's video is going to be really cool. It's a question that a lot of new YouTubers ask and I have some experience with it so I want to give you guys the best information that I have as far as like joining a MCN or a multi-channel network like Style Hall, Broadband TV, Full Screen, any of those networks are considered an MCN. So first I'm going to talk about the pros and cons, my experience, and then bigger YouTubers and if MCNs are so bad why they are so Signed to them. I think that's a question that a lot of people don't know the answer to, and it's a question that, you know, needs to be answered. Oh my god, that's gonna annoy me a lot. <laughs> so the answer to if you're a smaller youtuber should you join an MCN yes and no it really depends on your level of creativity your skills and that's still crooked oh my god I actually have OCD so <laughs> freaking blinds. So first, it's all about what they're willing to do for you. The most important thing is to get everything they're promising you in writing in the contract. So if you're a smaller YouTuber and you don't have a lot of experience making videos, designing channel banner art, creating thumbnails, and you actually don't know the whole process of creating like good quality videos, then I would actually recommend joining up with an MCN to help you develop these skills that are actually really really crucial in developing your YouTube career. I wouldn't sign up no matter what for more than a year contract because a year is actually a really long time in the digital field so if they're wanting to give you this like I've seen them go all the way up to four years and I would definitely stay away from that because there are plenty of good quality MCNs that will offer you a one year contract. The most important thing to do before signing your contract is to read your contract. A lot of them have auto renew clauses written in them. So after your period ends, if you don't cancel within the required time frame, it's like usually 30 days before the contract ends, it automatically renews you for another year or two years or whatever your contract is for. So definitely read your contract. So I'm gonna go over some of the benefits of being a small YouTuber and signing up with an NCM MCN they usually will create a custom banner art for your channel so if you're not good at Photoshop they will help you with thumbnail design give you tips on how to create consistency in your design the most important thing is the royalty free audio library that a lot of MCNs offer this can make or break your channel because music is definitely important for all of your videos so having a library of free music to use on your channel is extremely important. I have a subscription that I pay $15 a month for, so if you're not even making $15 a month off your channel, then this would definitely cancel out the membership fee that they charge. My personal favorite website to use is Epidemic Sound, so if your MCN offers this specific website, I highly recommend it. Also, you have someone to email if you have questions about YouTube, how the system works, getting your videos monetized if you're having trouble. You actually do have an email support system that that YouTube currently doesn't offer, but they actually are in the future I did here when I was at YouTube Space a few weeks ago. Right now, as it stands, there is no email support. Now here's the thing that is really annoying about MCNs. Most of them promise so many things that they actually don't and can't offer, especially everybody. That is promotion of your channel. They're not going to promote your channel no matter what they say. They don't have really a platform to do it on and it's just not gonna happen. A lot of them also promise contact with other YouTubers to collaborate. Now, the MCN I signed up for did have a collaboration tool, but it was virtually useless. Most people didn't use it, and it was just a lot of like weird gaming things going on there, and it wasn't something I found very useful at all for really anybody. I think I talked to one person on there. So if you think signing up with one of the big networks that one of your favorite YouTubers is on is gonna get you their contact information, it's actually not because they don't give you any contact information for any of their users on their network. Okay, so getting into a little bit of my own experience, I had a good and a bad experience because I don't know if I'm allowed to say the company I was with, but they're a very large company. They contacted me to tell me that they wanted me to sign up with their network. I responded saying I would like to do a trial version and they said, okay, that sounds good. I negotiated it down to only six months, so I wasn't making like a ton of money off YouTube at this point. I was like, six months, it's not gonna make or break me. I think I should go for it. 
and they actually negotiated a horrible split. It was 60-40, so they took 40% of my earnings, but they said the reason was because they were going to invest so much in me that it was worth the trade. The good thing I did was I made sure to keep in touch with the original contact person and we emailed back and forth and we actually became pretty good friends through email and he seemed to care a lot about my well-being personally and my actual growth on my channel, which most likely this won't happen to you because there's just so many and it's hard to find someone that will actually like care. So they offered all of the pros that I told you about earlier, but I'm actually mostly proficient in everything I mentioned. They did promise all of these like channel growth, like acceleration, like my channel is just gonna explode if I sign up with them. So I was like, okay, you know, let's just try this and see if it works. So I signed the, I signed the contract for six months. However, my channel growth was like flat. It wasn't growing. It was growing at the same rate it had been growing for the past like six months. So I actually, I wasn't really growing at all that they promised me I would. So I was really disappointed about that. The most amazing thing was that, and I've never heard this anywhere with any person I've ever talked to, that guy emailed me two months before my contract was about to expire. He said, I recommend you cancel with us because we aren't giving you what we originally thought and what normally happens with our channels. So here's your notice to cancel before the 30 days happens so you don't automatically get signed into a one year contract with us. So that was like really, really amazing and um, it just made me feel so good that he like actually cared about me and my experience with their network to tell me to cancel my contract with them. Um, so that was like really, really awesome. So. I had a really good experience with the guy, but a really bad experience with what they promised me. So I hope this helps you guys. If you're a smaller YouTuber, I'm not sure how many of my followers are smaller YouTubers who are trying to, you know, grow their audience. If these type of videos are interesting to you and you find them helpful, definitely leave me a comment below. The last thing I wanted to talk about is why do all the big YouTubers have a MCN if they're so awful? Now, the thing is with being a larger YouTuber, they want to work for you. Um, however, most of these YouTubers actually don't split any of their earnings with the network. Like I had 40% of mine going to them, they actually have a 0%. And the reason they can do this is the deals that they get through like brands and promotions, the network does take a cut from that. So they, they work for the larger YouTubers um, because they have to basically. So yeah, if any of you guys have questions about joining an MCN or just questions in general about how YouTube works, definitely leave me a comment below. I know a lot of things on the inside because I do go to the YouTube space a lot and I get to talk to the guys who actually work on the inside of YouTube. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. So I hope everyone has a fabulous day and we will talk to you later. All right, bye guys.